Jake Levington here, and I'm going to show you how you can use your ScanSnap scanner from Fujitsu to automatically scan any of your paper documents and get them directly into Evernote. I like this because it allows me to then easily access any of my paper files from anywhere. Evernote works with Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, WebOS. Basically, if you've got a device that uh, has access to the internet, chances are you can access your information that's stored in Evernote. So um, with that, I'll show you how you can automatically set up to have ScanSnap scan all your paper into Evernote so that it's accessible for you anywhere. First thing you need to do is, of course, have a ScanSnap scanner installed and have the ScanSnap manager running on your computer. Then you go to your system tray and right click on that icon for the ScanSnap manager and click on scan button settings. You need to make sure that this use quick menu is unchecked because otherwise you won't be able to complete the next step which is add Evernote as an application to scan to. Click on the application tab and then you're going to click on the add or remove button in order to add Evernote as an application. Click add and then you're going to have to browse to the application path. In this case it is very likely going to be under C, Program Files, Evernote, Evernote, and then Evernote.exe. It's a lot of Evernotes just to get there, but after you've done that, um, you need to name the application. In this case, I'm going to type in Evernote. And once you're done, it's added, and you can click Close. You have up to 10 to choose from. As you can see, Adobe Acrobat is automatically in the application list. Uh, you can then also see that Evernote is now in this list, along with the various defaults that come with the ScanSnap. All right, the other thing that you want to do is make sure that the File Option tab is set to PDF. Um, this is by default, so probably it will just work. And if you want to OCR the files, you can choose to have them OCR'd as well. That's useful for being searchable, but by no means a requirement if you simply want to store your images as a PDF. Once you've done that, click OK. I'll go ahead and scan in a document here to show you how this works. You may hear the scanner running in the background. As soon as it's completed the scan, Evernote will open up and the document that I scanned is right here the receipt for my Seattle Fitness membership that I got from back in January that apparently I had forgotten to scan. So there you go. Uh, you can then add a tag. Uh, change the name of the file if you, if you want to or do any of the other things that you might want to do with your Evernote account. Um, the scan will not be as quick as what you just saw if it's OCR because the software then has to analyze it first. But that gives you a, a real quick run through of how well you can automate everything that you want to do with Evernote and ScanSnap.